It's awesome to show people from the Midwest which isn't necessarily a hot spot for elite level cycling, but show people that that's totally possible. You can really train on gravel and go fast and have fun at the same time. There's sort of that idiom that exists of like a fixie rider being different from a track cyclist. And I think more of those guys have mustaches than actual track riders. So I think everyone thought I was just like this total, you know, dillweed like Fixie rider that just happened to show up to nationals. Since nobody was really paying attention before, it seems like he did gravel for a longer time, but it wasn't really that much longer. He wasn't competitive at all when we got married. So even being a contender at gravel races was a relatively new development. He accidentally happened upon track and was good at that and thought that was going to be fun. So it was kind of like, this might be exciting, but mostly it's just going to be fun and we'll see what happens. And then everything was very fast. A lot of times in gravel races, especially in the first third of the race, I will absolutely drop the rest of the group and just go on like a solo break on the front and then sort of just kind of hope that sticks. His way of doing things is to learn everything there is to know and become as good as he can be at that thing. And this is a thing where he can be a whole lot better than most people in the world. I just get bored sitting around a lot. I like having sort of a routine and I think that routine just now happens to include, you know, a substantial training week and going to the gym and all this other stuff. I like completing it and getting the little green marks on training peaks more than I like skipping a workout and feeling crappy about having skipped a workout. I do a little bit have to remind myself of like it is the Team USA jersey. It's harder when I'm at home because I have a lot of time where people might not necessarily recognize it and it does look like a jersey you could just get at like Shields or Walmart where it's like, oh man, that's a cool American flag jersey. And I'm like, no, 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 let me... Okay, yeah, you're right, it's a cool American flag jersey. Thanks, man. Just looking at paths to the Olympics, it was a relatively clear-cut path of like, okay, you have to go race nationals, you have to win national championships. And then, you know, once we get on the US team, like my plan was to be racing World Cups. It was a much longer plan and uh, layout than what actually happened. And so it was just sort of a continuation of like, oh, well, we got that one checked off early, let's go to the next one. 